morning, everyone. What a morning. It was windy, it was cold, it was snowy for some of us, and we're not quite done with the snow. We'll talk about who could still see some showers, and when we start to warm up, that's coming up next. They need to be out there informing our American citizens what the heck is going on over our skies. Several mysterious objects have been shot out of the sky over the United States. The response from the White House. Live from Utah's news leader, Fox 13 News Live at 11 starts right now. Good morning, I'm April Baker in for Max Roth. A plane had... It is a weather action day Wednesday as snow continues to fall right now throughout much of the metro area. at noon starts now. This just in today at noon, the Cleveland Patrolmen's Association just overwhelmingly voted that they have no confidence. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN Noon News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining. Tom Wiley here at CMR High School. These three students are getting sent for the trip of a lifetime. They're going to be heading to the ACDA National Conference in Cincinnati, Ohio. We'll have much more on their journey. Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 10 o'clock news. Starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 10 o'clock news. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm getting you ready to start your day with news and weather from more neighborhoods across northeast Wisconsin. This is NBC 26 News Today with McLeod Hageman. Coming up, there's a week until the Green Bay mayoral primary. We're going one-on-one -on -one with another candidate. With more reporters in more neighborhoods across northeast Wisconsin. This is NBC 26 News with John Erickson. And good evening to you. Thank you for watching tonight. And we begin here with one of the big questions in Wisconsin. That is, what should the... Kern County Streaming News Leader. This is 23 ABC News Midday. And it starts now. Good morning and thanks for tuning in to 23 ABC News. I'm Mike Hart. Topping our news, new information about the objects shot down over the U.S. and Canada. There's new audio from fighter pilots who were tracking those objects as lawmakers now continue to press the White House for more information. ABC's Ike Ajachi in Washington. With